Welcome to another video from explainingcomputers.com. This time, I thought we'd have a quick reminder about the importance of keeping proper backups, and in particular, the very handy 321 rule. This states that we should always keep at least three copies of our data, that we should keep that data on at least two different types of media, and we should make sure we keep at least one of those media off site. To some people, keeping three copies of all data might seem excessive, and it's worth reminding ourselves, therefore, that all forms of computer storage fail. Hard drives fail, SSDs fail, flash drives fail, optical media fail, tape fails. There isn't a means of storing computer data that's absolutely infallible. And therefore, if you want to make sure your data is going to go on through time, you really must store it on lots of different media in the hope that at least some of them will actually survive. My view on keep, keeping data and storing data is very simple. I never ever save a file one time. You know, why would I do that? If I save a file one time, what I'm basically saying is, I don't really mind if it's not there when I come back again. Which means, why have I bothered to save it in the first place? So, for example, when I shoot video, as I'm doing now, I will shoot video to an SSD normally, and then I'll copy that SSD to the, the video drive on my computer to edit it from, and before I start editing, I'll make a copy on a backup drive. Because why should I invest my time in a copy of a file where only one exists? And where if that drive goes, or it's an electrical failure, or a flood, or a fire, or something, everything's disappeared. So if you're one of those people who keeps all of your photographs, all of your video, all of your, your, your business stuff just on that one laptop sitting sort of waving around on, 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 your, on your knee and can drop on the floor, have all sorts of accidents, do think about keeping three copies. It's a very, very sensible thing to do. I've already said that all computer storage media fail, but it's worth keeping in your head the fact that they fail for different reasons. Hard drives, for example, are very susceptible to mechanical problems, of physically being dropped, that, that type of thing. Whereas optical media tend to fail over time, and yet optical media are much more resilient to, to physical damage, to, to, to drops and shocks and things like that, and even to things like water to, to a certain extent. So when you're trying to protect yourself against all the things that you get at your data, fire, flood, human error, natural disasters, electromagnetic pulses, some nuclear tests, things like that, which will wipe out all of our hard drives, it's worth putting your data on different types of media, keeping things at least on, say, a hard drive, and maybe flash media, and also on maybe some form of optical media. Something that shocked me for many years is when I see people keeping very, very careful backups of all of their files, and then storing those backups right next to their computer. I used to work in somewhere where someone put all their backups every day, they backed up their machine on, onto floppy drives and they put them in a little box and they locked it and put it on the desk about six inches away from where the computer was. So if there'd been a fire or a third or, or a theft or an airplane that had crashed into the building, it would have taken all the backups out at exactly the same point in time. It's very important that if we really want to preserve our data, at least one copy of it is somewhere physically separated from the other copies. So a copy is kept off-site. Now, there's various ways you can do that. You could actually take a hard drive, or you could take a flash drive, or maybe an optical media, and give it to someone you know to store somewhere. You could even put it in a shed if you've got a shed at the end of your garden. Okay, it's not that physically separated, but it's a little bit separated out. You can also these days keep an off-site copy by storing a backup online, using someone like Google Drive or Dropbox or all the other online storage services. Having said that, I would add to the 321 rule on the end to say you should keep one copy off-site and also that copy entirely separated from other media in terms of being able to be rewritten. I mention that because today one of the big threats to data is what's called a ransomware attack where you get a piece of malware on your computer that goes around encrypting all your files, and then they charge, charge you a, a fee, or try to charge you a fee to unencrypt it, try to charge you a ransom. That's significant, because if you have an automated system that backs up your files online, and your files are getting encrypted um, by somebody on your machine, those encrypted files can be copied online in exactly the same way, and you can find all your online supposedly separated backups are just as corrupted. So if you do use online to keep your off-site copy, 
be aware of that. Make sure the files you're actually putting online are not constantly being overwritten with copies of the files you've got on your local media. So there we are, the 3 2, one rule. Always keep at least three copies of your data on at least two different media, with at least one copy being off-site and isolated from your other files. In my next video, I'm going to be looking at MDisk, which is a relatively new kind of a DVD and Blu-ray media, which can be used to help you implement a successful 3 2, one strategy. And indeed, I'm going to be subjecting MDisk to some very intensive tests to see how robust the media really is. But now that's it for this time. If you've enjoyed this video, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I hope to talk to you again very soon.